what's going on relocators today is tuesday moving tips which i have some tips for you guys on what to pack what to donate and what to leave behind because i know you're stressed out you're probably exhausted you don't even know where to start so stay tuned <music> So you're ready to pack. All right, so I'm gonna be helping you guys out. So I'm gonna give you guys some ideas and I wanna kinda help you guys out because at this moment, you're gonna wanna get rid of everything and I'm gonna stop you right there. So what we wanna do is basically think of the things that we actually wanna pack. So this is a, the best moment to actually clean your house. And as you guys know, we probably, shop a lot more than what we think we might have a lot of items that we have that we can actually you know give away so i'm going to give you guys three tips of what to pack just to give you guys an idea of what to actually bring down when you're relocating to central florida number one is dressy clothes i know a lot of you guys are in the process of looking for a job if you're moving down here without a job that's going to be on your mind so what you want to do is pack a box that's going to be dressy clothes and what you want to actually add i have a few items here for the women and i'm also going to talk to the men as well so for the women it's very very hot we're getting into the really humid hot season of um, Central Florida. So you probably want to bring a couple tank tops and you have like these cute little tank tops that you can actually wear like a blazer. And that way when you're running around, you can actually wear your tank top in your car and then when you're ready to walk in, you can wear your, your blazer and that way you look refreshed and you look basically ready to go. You also want to have some slacks and then just put some that are very neutral color, black, these are navy blue, gray, something that you can kind of switch up with other items in your closet or in your box, and then that way you are super prepared. Another idea for the women, um, you can also have these linen pants that are very comfortable. You can also dress this up with a nice blouse and a blazer with some nice heels and dressy shoes. So most of the companies here usually want you to have closed toe shoes, so have a pair of those, but also have some other shoes that have open toes just because they're dressy. You have some companies that are very casual that you can probably wear something that is casual, not too dressy. Based on the company you're going to be interviewing with, just use your judgment on what items you should pack and just put that in a box and just put dressy clothes for interviews. So that will help you guys out. For guys, a lot of times you don't have to wear a blazer. Just bring a dressy shirt, a tie, a cup of slacks, some dressy shoes, a nice belt, just something that you're presentable and you are ready to go when you get that opportunity. All right, number two. So a lot of you guys probably have a full house with furniture, with a lot of maybe with a full set with your bedroom, dining room, living room. Your kids might have a full room with tons of toys and furniture. This is the moment that you can actually look at the areas that you wanna rent, look at the square footage, look at the size of the living room, and that way you can actually just get rid of a few pieces. You wanna just come with like a sofa maybe like a console table for your TV and a, maybe like an end table but try to be very very limited on the things that you bring down so that way once you move into your new apartment you get to decorate you get to go out and just look at new things and just kind of bring some new pieces to refresh the the area and also you will get inspired once you get here so you don't want to have a full house of furniture that came from your old home you know you want to get rid of few things so that way you just have the things you need the, the pieces that you really love and that you really want to bring down now don't forget that with these pieces that you have you can actually get rid of them so that's number three so number two is basically looking at the square footage looking at the house that you're actually moving into figuring out which items you want to bring so that way you could save money and you don't have to bring everything down with you guys, but you're also kind of limiting yourself, just kind of bringing the things that you need and then the rest you can kind of get rid of it. Number three is going to be donate everything you have. So a lot of times you basically want to just get rid of a lot of things that you have, toys, 
clothing that you actually don't want to bring down here and also just your furniture that you can kind of donate to the Salvation Army. You might have a neighbor or maybe a church that someone needs what you need. Remember, your trash is someone's treasure. So don't get rid of all, all your stuff. Try to find someone that will literally will enjoy your item for many, many years to come. So you definitely want to do that. Now, I also want to go over clothing and things you do not want to get rid of. So let's go over a few things. So a lot of you guys are coming from maybe a city or a state that snows and has a four season. So most of you guys are coming down from a city or state that probably is totally different from Orlando. Here is very, very humid, but I gotta kind of got to break it to you guys. It does get cold here sometimes. It gets, we get into the 40s, sometimes we get into the 20s and you don't want to be scrambling to find something that's going to keep you warm. So while you're packing, make sure that you, I have a couple items here that I want to go over. Make sure you bring your boots if you want because you never know when you want to go back home on a trip or you might have, you know, you might meet a couple friends here that you can go skiing and you want to just for the for the holidays you just want to go somewhere where there's snow or you want to see the four seasons so make sure you bring your boots you never want to get rid of them but just keep them you never know when you're going to use them so another thing you want to bring with you guys are jackets and hats and scarves and just like gloves especially if you have kids because when they when you take them to their bus stop you don't want them to be super cold when it is cold here so make sure you bring their gloves and if they have any scarves or hats and then for the ladies and the gentlemen make sure you bring like your jackets your leather coats and your nice warm coats because you are going to use it and I don't want you to be scrambling. And the reason I say this is because we get cold most of the time around February, March. It's because a lot of the stores are not going to have tons of winter stuff in February or March, even April. So you want to have basically those items at home so you're not scrambling looking for, for items to keep you warm if, there's, if there is a cold front. So I want you guys to be prepared and ready to go and also enjoy your the weather's here as comfortable as you guys enjoy it back home. So that's pretty much it. Those are the three tips that I'm actually giving you guys today for your moving tip. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, definitely comment below. Let me know what are your thoughts. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video with the three tips on what to, what to pack. This I know will help you guys out. I hope you enjoy this video. Comment below, let me know what you guys think about. If you guys have a question, tell me what you're gonna be bringing. I would love to know what you're packing, but I wanted to give you guys some ideas to kind of get you guys prepared once you get here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And if you know anyone that's in the middle of moving, make sure you actually share this video with them so they can also get the three tips and they're also prepared just like you. All right, guys, well, thank you so much. Don't forget also to hit that little bell to get notifications on my next video. And I will see you guys in the next video.